Good evening, First Presbyterian Church family. I hope this finds you well on Wednesday, September 22nd. This is the first day, official day, of fall. This is the fall or autumn equinox, the date of equal amount of light and dark. And again, the official start for fall, though, as I've said before, in my mind's eye, September 1st, really, or at least once Labor Day is passed, that is fall, until the end of November. When December 1st rolls around, I think winter, though officially winter begins December 22nd. I hope this day has gone well for you. I'm preparing this Thursday thought a day early because I will be away tomorrow. I am participating in an overnight retreat with the newest class of Leadership Mesquite. I hope this will be an opportunity to know more about the community, to know more ways in which we can be connected and involved with the community, and will be a platform for me to see, scout out mission opportunities for us as well. Today has been um, a good day. It's been a hard day for also for in some respects, and I'm sure it's been that way for you too. But we have the hope that just as the seasons turn, that the next day will be better. A hope for that. I'm continuing the series in Galatians. I want to share a few observations from Galatians and uh, offer for the prayer. But before I do that, I want to give you one more update. This Sunday, you will hear the choir. I got to hear them practice that tonight at the church. They will sing our introit. Now, the song is about standing on holy ground, so I'm going to ask you to stand. Uh, but you will have the opportunity to listen to the choir. They will present an anthem, and they will sing the choral response at the end. We're beginning to move a little bit further uh, back to what I hope will be a more, it will be a new normal, but one that will last a bit longer. Also, this Sunday, you will have hymnals in your, in your pews, and you will have Bibles to which to look. So, for now, those words will not be in the bulletin. Also, mark your calendar and please let the church office know what you would like to enjoy as a meal. On the 3rd, that's Worldwide Communion Sunday, not only will we offer traditional communion as well as the miracle meals, we will also offer, um, I mean, we'll offer traditional, we'll offer a miracle meal. It will be great Worldwide Communion service that afternoon, late afternoon, we will once again have our fall um, picnic, that, that picnic at the park in Sunnyvale, and uh, it'll be a little different. We're starting everything new, and we're learning again how to have fellowship with one another. So I hope you're able to make it and begin to start reconnecting with one another. Enough of my announcements for now. Galatians going through in the third chapter, and Paul speaks about justification by faith. The righteous shall live by faith, not works alone. That, that theme is big in Galatians. Uh, again, a group had gotten caught up in it's Jesus and things that I do. And he's making clear, no, it is not. It is strictly Christ. He speaks um, from experience how well, initially you, you welcome this work of the Spirit in your life. What's happened that you've tried to add something to it? And then he gives an argument that some would give, well, you need to be of Abraham, and there's an act that at least guys can have done that makes them of Abraham, and saying it's, it's not that. I mean, Abraham is great. He is our forebearer in the faith, but that's not it. I mean, he's got plenty of children. <laughs> um, they are not in right relationship with God. It's not your background. That's the biggest takeaway for us. A reminder, it's not our background. It's... it's um, you know, and I, for one, actually, I'm a seventh generation Presbyterian, uh, but that is is not what does it. It is the relationship with with Christ, 
At times we can rest on our background, rest on our credentials, and it's going to happen. It's human. But here's the reminder that again, once again, it's to Christ to whom we cling and only Christ that we can claim. It is by grace. Just a thought to leave with you today, and I want to, this evening, I should say, and let me close um, with this prayer, a prayer to thank God for being with us. And the verse comes from Genesis 8:22. While the earth remains, sea time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night, none of that shall cease. And I've shared with this with you all before, but I want to share it again. Gracious and loving God, thank you for the seasons we can count on, find routine in, and that will never cease while the earth remains. As we enter into autumn, when the cooler winds drift in and the days grow shorter, draw us closer to you. Let us feel your warm and loving presence. May we imagine ourselves in your arms, close to your heart, surrounded by your light, and find comfort in your consistency when the world around us seems to be constantly changing. Thank you for your loving kindness that engulfs us and your light that drives the darkness away. We praise you for being a God who loves us and takes care of us. And we are grateful you are with us in all circumstances and seasons. And as we really, really, really enter fall, that's a good thought to keep in mind. God is at work. The Holy Spirit has not gone to sleep. And despite challenges you may have had today, there is that new hope for tomorrow. And have a great